What's up guys, it's your boy Fosmith here, and I'm coming to you with a stunning second video in one week. So there's been a lot of the news lately from Japan. The former Prime Minister Abe Shinzo was assassinated two days ago, right before an election. And the election was on Sunday, July 10th, and something fairly remarkable came out of this. I'm not sure if that many of you are familiar with Ken Akamatsu. He made, he's the manga artist behind Love Hina, You Can't Stop I, and the magical teacher Negima, as well as, yeah, I think the last thing he serialized was UQ Holder. Well, he was elected to the Japanese parliament on Sunday. Now, he ran as part of the LDP, the Liberal Democratic Party in Japan, and despite the name, that's actually the Conservative Party in Japan. And he ran as a nationwide candidate. The way the parliament works over here, and uh, follow me here because I'm not 100% certain that my information is correct, but the way the parliament works is you have, of course, your elected officials from each prefecture and city like Tokyo is its own city, it's not a prefecture, but you have prefectures like Kanagawa or Chiba or Saitama. And you have those local people that are elected to parliament. And then on top of that, you have a nationwide vote. And I believe the top few vote getters in the nationwide vote are given seats in the parliament as well. And Akamatsu Ken, sorry, Ken Akamatsu, was actually the number one vote getter in that competition, in that race. So yes, he's going to the Japanese parliament as a senator now. And I believe this is a world first. I don't think there's any other manga artist or comic book artist, or perhaps even comic book writer in the world that's been elected to their national government. Now, he ran a campaign based on anti-censorship. And this, to me, is very important. Now, if you're familiar with your boy Zach from Comics Matter, he used to go by the name uh, Diversity Matters. He mentioned once offhand that he had a conversation with somebody that said that the way um, "Quote unquote SJWs work in the United States and in the West in general, the cancel culture that they sort of bring about is similar to cancel culture in Japan. Now, I actually don't believe that's the case. There is cancel culture in Japan, but cancel culture in Japan is based off of somebody doing something that's illegal or immoral, not having the wrong political um, inclinations." let's say. Now, some of you might say that politics and morality are one and the same, but I actually staunchly disagree against that sentiment. I'm not going to explain myself. But right now, Japan's sort of at a crossroads as far as manga goes, or anime goes, or perhaps adult video games go. There's a lot of pressure from mainly the West and their surrogates within Japan to increase censorship in the manga industry. It actually happened fairly strongly to the boys love genre over here, BL. So uh, you used to be able to get BL comics manga at any normal bookstore they, they sell. And now it's getting harder and harder to do so and it's actually the type of subject matter and the type of things you could draw uh, were severely hamstrung because of quote-unquote morality laws now I don't think I need to tell you this but um, and I'm not going to go into detail because number one it's not something that I really personally like but the censorship laws when it comes to manga in Japan are a lot 
lot less stringent. They're more lax than what you could do in almost every single Western country. You could probably guess what that entails. And my position on this is if there's no victim, then there's no crime. So essentially, what you do in drawings or fictional media, let's say for example, like uh, novels, should not be censored at all, short of perhaps an author claiming that they're going to commit a crime against the real person. And this is a stance that Ken Akamatsu is taking as well. Uh, there were several candidates for parliament that ran on anti-censorship platforms. Unfortunately, although it was, it was a good thing that Ken Akamatsu was elected, unfortunately a couple of the people that were previously parliament members, they lost their elections. So it remains to be seen in which direction this goes. Hopefully the current status quo stays the same and Japan doesn't bend the knee and kowtow to Western sensibilities when it comes to censorship laws. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, it's a good step forward. Hopefully the fact that he was able to garner so many votes overall really puts a spotlight on what he's trying to accomplish. We'll see. All right, uh, guys, the world's crazy. Please be safe. Take care. This has been your boy Fosmith. 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 Peace.